One, two, three. You're watching Triple D Long Hair. You're killing me, my dog. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you later. What's up, YouTube? All right, I'm back, man. You already know the deal. You already know the deal. If you know my channel, you know my channel. I'm in and I'm out. I'm sorry. I'm a one-man band. I got to do it all. So I just want to drop in here and just say Happy Easter. <clears throat> I got to give Gwen a shout-out because I know Gwen be watching my channel. I got to give Carter a shout-out because I know Carter be watching my channel. I got to give Brian, little Brian, <coughs> Because I know he be watching my channel. So I got to make sure I give them some love real quick. And for everyone else out there that's steady staying with me, um, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um, let's get into this little topic I got to talk about. My topic, my topic, my topic. My topic is pricing. Wow. So where to start, where to start, where to start. So... I hope the mic is all good. Hope everybody can hear me. If not, I guess you'll put it in the comments. Um, other than that, like, comment, and share. I'm not using my GoPro. I'm using the camera that I've been using. Um, it does pretty decent. Definitely not as good as the GoPro, but me and the GoPro are still having a little some problems. So, okay, you hey guys, when. My peoples, and when I say people, my lawn care community tells me something and tells everybody over and over and over, and you're like, I don't know. Uh, that's not, nah. Look, man, if you didn't do it yet, do it today. Do it now. Do it this second. Do it this minute. Up your price. Up all your prices. I like that view. That's pretty dope up all your prices so um <sighs> woo. so last year i worked my butt off i mean i worked night and day i worked my butt off seeing the money coming in on yard book where is it at i was working so hard i was like man i should have more money than this because i'm busting my butt guys quit busting your butt for mediocre pay stop I kind of do it still. My pricing is up. I'm up. My pricing is up. I'm $60 an hour. I'm going to tell y'all, 60 People don't want to tell you how much they make, what they charge. My minimum is $60. I said 65 I was going to do, but I just kept it at $60 an hour. It's 60 bucks for me to cut. That's my minimum yard. I don't do backyards. I'm done doing backyards. If I can't get my baby mower through there, this, my Gravely, I ain't doing it not happening it's not going down sorry nothing against anybody it's just my one that goes in the backyard is old i got it when it was a dinosaur i got it from grace i got it from um uh what was the place in uh port huron um lynch's i got it at lynch's and I mean, it was a good mower i mean they sold it to me for 700 dollars. it was a dinosaur it's all i had it was my first commercial piece of equipment I was feeling myself so I, I I kept with it I kept with it it's been nothing but a good mower but now it's breaking it's 
it's things are happening you can't find parts for it it's just not worth investing in it so i'm not buying a new mower so i'm done with push mowing yards and it's pretty dope because like the time it takes me to push mow one yard i could do two of these houses right here for 75 dollars and the time it took me to push mow one yard so i'm fine with not push mowing um it is you know a couple of customers don't like it okay a lot of my customers don't like it but I just can't do it, man. I can't do it. Um, another thing is when I say to man, raise your price. If you guys are running left and right, left and right cutting, up your price. Something's gonna happen. A, people gonna say, that's crazy. I'm not paying that to, for you to cut my yard. Okay, bye. You're not my customer. Then what's gonna happen is you're gonna work just as much. You're gonna work you don't work not as much and make the same pay because you done got rid of all them low ballers and now you're cutting the yards you want to cut. Now you're going to be able to pick up more customers and when you pick those customers up, you can make it at the money that you want to make. So let me re-wrap that again. <clears throat> let me re-wrap that. If you're, if you're making, if you're running around cutting a bunch of yards, right? cut a whole bunch of yards you're cutting them for X amount of dollars and you need to up your price because you just got so many yards you can't keep up on them up your price so now cut them for X amount of dollars what they're gonna say is I'm not paying that for uh, yard care cool fine because you know there will be people that will pay what you want so let them go they say that's too much let them go they say they've been there since you started and don't forget who you are. Okay, well, don't forget that we are a business and I am making a business. I'm not looking for customers. I'm looking for clients. Okay, so let them go. Now that you let these people go, you lost, let's say, 20 customers. But now you're cutting customers at $60 an hour instead of at the $40 an hour or what you were doing. So now you got rid of those. Now you're picking up new customers at $60 an hour. That means you're making what you really want to make and you're still making good money. Now you're doing, I want to say almost better work because you're feeling better about yourself because you know you're making what you deserve. You're not ripping the customer off and you're not ripping yourself off. So you're making money you want. So then it motivates you to move faster quicker and do better work regardless when i was making peanuts i was doing good quality work because my work stands for myself it speaks for myself so it speaks like i can't be out here giving trash thinking i'm gonna make a business because people are not going to call me side note on that i had a customer talking about um i picked up okay Woo! That's a whole nother story. I got some uh, commercial accounts. We're gonna talk about that. I let um, Advanced Auto go because they weren't meeting my criteria. And yeah, I had to let them go. They weren't meeting my criteria. What they wanna pay me wasn't what I was accepting to get paid. And I don't feel I was over asking for money. Like I don't think I was asking a ridiculous amount. But I'm gonna save that for a whole nother different video. All right, if you guys haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. You've been here this long, like, comment, and subscribe. Now, just so you know, I got a whole nother channel. I got a motorcycle channel. So um, if you're a rider or you, you like motorcycles or whatever, check it out. If you wanna know what, I, what the channel is, just put in comments, hey Dante, what's the link to your channel? I'm gonna hit you the link, all right? That easy. Um, but if you're not subscribed and you don't like any of my comments or none of my videos and you don't do comments I ain't sending you no link to no video You trash. No, I'm just joking. I'll make sure I send that link to you guys But um, yeah, so up your prices. I can't say it enough. I can't say it enough I got two friends out here um <clears throat> Herb and Marquise Marquise and Herb how you want to put it? And they out here killing it, man. They got a pressure washing. I mean, they got um, carpet cleaning. They do dogs. They do all sorts of stuff. And they doing lawn care. 
And I mean, <clears throat> last year I was giving them literally like a list of jobs and they were doing it and they were doing good work. <clears throat> now, they don't have top of the line equipment. The equipment they have, boy, they're giving top of the line quality work. The work that they're giving, you can't tell anyone anything different. The work that they're doing is quality, high quality work. So it shows you, you don't need top notch equipment to do everything. The good equipment makes your job easier. The better weed eater makes your job quicker. But in the beginning, what you have is what you use is what you're going to do it with. So I don't want to get back on that. I just want to, you know, show some love for, um, for them and their business because they are killing it out there with the lawns. Um, they're not afraid to ask questions. They're always asking questions. Um, very well as I am, I'm always, I'm in Keith Kalfis's ear all the time. He's probably like, boy, if you're trying, trips hit me up. I wonder what it is. I probably only answered it in 50 of my videos, but he's going to ask me because he probably just wants to ask me when I answer this question, probably in 52 of my videos. But, hey, what up, D? That's usually how the conversation probably going to go. But anyways, I appreciate Keith Kelfis because he is like my mentor and he doesn't even know it. He's like, basically, I'm telling you, man, he keeps it raw, just straight facts, straight to the point. Like, if you're not going to listen to him, then you're wasting his time, you're wasting your time. So, I don't try to waste no time. But basically, this whole conversation is a whole of this whole video is like, guys, up your prices. Up them up your prices if if, if you're cutting <clears throat> and, and say you your prices are good say oh i got good prices i don't need to up them i say i say up them but if you feel your prices are good then that's what's up that's what's up all right and i'm tired i gotta be back up cutting at the um at the car wash at five in the morning but i just Really want to tell you guys, man, this lawn care business has been crazy. It's been a wild movement. And in my dreams that I ever think I'd be in Georgia with my logo on the side of a truck and trailer, people knowing me within a three year frame, <clears throat> the work I do. I mean, it's very well known. People know me. I'm not trying to blow my head up, but I'm saying if you guys put the work in, they're gonna know you. Cause they're gonna have no choice but to know you because the work you're doing, you're gonna wanna know it because you're gonna want you at work at your house. So I want you guys to do, if you're, if you're like, well, should I up my prices? Are my prices bad? Are they good? Whatever. If you're cutting, and you're, and you're like, man, I think I should up my price. That's the sign right there, up your price. If you're cutting and you're just kind of like, feel some type of way about cutting the property, like you're just not really feeling the property, probably you're not feeling it because you know you could have made more money on it. So up your price. Oh, you're afraid that they're gonna let you go? Oh, you're gonna get fired? Cool, get fired. Let people who are not willing to pay you fire you. Please, please let them fire you. Let them let you go. Because for some reason, you don't want to let them go. All right? Make sure you guys are getting your worth, your value. Don't sit here and, and waste time, man. Don't waste time. I should have started this long care business years ago. I'm telling you, this is insane, man. This journey of long care is insane. Now, my body is starting to, you know, act some type of way. And you know, I'm in some serious, I, I'm in some serious pain. I gotta find some help. I gotta find some real true help and pay them good and keep it moving. But you know what, till I find help, I tough it out, man. I ain't out here crying, it is what it is. Come home sore, sore as hell. I'm lucky I got the, um, how can I put it? I got, I got the heart of Georgia when I come home. So she got my back. She makes sure I'm fed. She makes sure I'm taken care of. You know, same way. I make sure she got what she needs. Whatever she needs, she got it. So, um, a little plug, a little shout out to my girl, Courtney. So, um, other than that, man, don't play around out here. Get your money. 
and don't take nothing less than what you want. I'm going to talk to you later. This is Dante, a.k.a. Triple D. Thanks for joining my page. Thanks for joining me again. Sorry I'd be dipping out for months on end, but it is what it is. I'm back to the grind, back to the streets. Talk to you later. Let's go.